So today I'm going to have a look at how you uh, integrate external applications via synthetic APIs and I'm going to use uh, an open source intelligence workbench here uh, as our example. Uh, so the idea here is part of your open source intelligence analysis um, then you can add entities to this uh, to this dashboard here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to name this entity here uh, so we're actually looking at organizations here and I'm going to create one here called uh, Kapow software um, and what you would typically do as part of your uh, your integration here is you would perhaps want to fill in some of these attributes of this organization um, and one of the ways you can do that is obviously by going away to trusted sources like LinkedIn and then copying and pasting the information from LinkedIn over here but it would be really nice if I could do this automatically um, and this particular application does provide that mechanism for you they have something called transforms and these transforms enable you to do things like uh, automatically integrate with uh, external things via an API so this application has an API and in order to build a transform that uses some external application you need another API so for example here you can see we've got things that do deal with Twitter so using the Twitter API I can build a transform inside uh, Multigo. Now the problem is if your external application doesn't have an API and that's exactly where Kapow fits. So what I've done in this particular case just to illustrate the point is uh, I've built a transform that enables us to look up company information from LinkedIn. So in the Kapow world we have a very straightforward uh, standard uh, um, Kapow robot. Uh, just a couple of things to mention. The output here is an organization object so effectively what we've got here are properties that reflect the same structure as we saw over here in Multigo. So we've got the industry specialities type website or whatever. So I've replicated this structure inside the uh, inside the robot here. The other thing is as by way of an input then um, Multigo will pass to this robot an entity and a list of properties about that entity so for example here you can see we're passing the name of a particular uh, uh, company and uh, to this to this robot and there will be various other properties in there but really the crux to this is to um, to connect with LinkedIn so one of the other things I've got here are my credentials that I can use to uh, uh, to sign into LinkedIn uh, again they could be part of the input parameters if you want to in this particular case I'm hard coding them as me and uh, just going to then build a really standard robot to uh, uh, to extract the details about that particular uh, uh, organization uh, so what I want to do here is select the um, the company's drop down I'm going to enter the name of the organization we're searching for based on the input parameter so in this case I'm looking for a, uh, an organization called smart logic and um, do the search on LinkedIn there it is so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, click on that so we can get to the details of that particular uh, organization all standard stuff and then I'm going to extract some things about this so uh, what I'm doing here is I'm extracting the URL of the logo and um, down here we can see more information so as when it comes to the description I want to see all of that description which I'm going to extract as a chunk of HTML I can have a look at that down here so you can see I've got the HTML for the description there um, and then gradually exploit the uh, uh, the information from this page here uh, and I'll go right to jump to the end basically extract the information I'm looking for and then just return that value so pretty straightforward robot and the idea would be publish that up to a management console which I've got over here um, and that would give us this robot here uh, get the org information from LinkedIn and of course every robot that we deploy here can be deployed as a REST web service uh, so here we have the URL of that REST web service and you can see that the uh, the input parameters that it's uh, it's trying to uh, it needs to be passed to it at runtime okay so I've got now basically got a synthetic API so back inside Multigo what we can do is we can set up one of these transformations and I have one here hit that there it is right there uh, get the organization detail from LinkedIn and the key here is what we've done is we've built a little um, little executable that effectively 
manages the difference in in structures between the way the Multigo API and calling a web service and we can specify which web service we want to call from here so this is the one we just looked at get organ inf organization information from LinkedIn in other words I'm just pointing this at the web service that we've just created so what that means is in reality what I can do here is I can go back to this uh, uh, entity choose to run a transform and point it at that particular transform we're interested in get the organization details from LinkedIn so takes a few seconds to run and now you can see the results of that execution so uh, first thing you notice is we now have a logo uh, associated with this particular entity and um, also I've got the description there and it's filled in all of these values so I can see that actually uh, this is the URL associated with the Kapow website and various other things um, so this is really really common way of dealing with these these items I did build another one which basically enables me to not only do a lookup but actually add some uh, entities here as well so the other one I built was a little robot does exactly the same sort of thing it grabs some employees from uh, uh, from LinkedIn associated with this entity so again a very simple robot basically just uses the uh, the name of the organization power software in this case goes away and grabs uh, um, some of those employees from from LinkedIn and creates person entities inside Multigo uh, for us to view those uh, in this particular workbench and there we go uh, so let's just rearrange that a little bit is that a better way of looking at it? yep so in this particular case because I'm using the demo version of Multigo it only enables me to collect um, a, a dozen objects but here you can see them all all laid out and if I cycle over these you can see well let's just pick one of these you can see that as well as uh, um, the uh, organization entity each of these person objects has been uh, filled in so I can see that David here is actually a sales engineer uh, based in London and again all this information has come from LinkedIn uh, but that's just one example obviously with Kapow we can build these synthetic API's uh, to uh, collect information from any application and tightly integrate it in this manner with any other application like Multico uh, so I hope that was interesting. Um, please let us know if you've got any questions, comments or queries.